Hello, my name is Caroline Karp. Welcome to my studio or welcome back. Um, I'm an expressionist painter painting life's stories. And I'm going to start off by telling you the story behind this piece. You might have been watching me all along. I think this is video number five. And um, so these are sunflowers up at the Biltmore Estate in North Carolina. And I was inspired to paint them by my friend Elaine Bailey when she was on a hike there recently up in Asheville. And uh, she shared these. Um, I'm also inspired by the music that you hear playing in the background. And um, I kind of like, you know, the song of the acoustics and the message. And so um, watch me paint. I'm attempting to add um, motion into this piece. So. Um, I have some greenery of the leaves, um, but the title might actually be Falling in Love with the Wind. Sun, sunflowers falling in love with the wind. I don't know, I might change it. So, uh, yeah, I am adding in the details that need to happen. story behind this painting is that it started off as um, a jazz piano player. If you watched my first video, you can kind of see him up under there, but he's all covered up now. And I just wanted to uh, bring a different vibe to this canvas. different turn with it. And I do like to cover the canvas uh, all the way with paint before I start adding like fine detail. I like the whole thing to be covered and it is right now. So I can start like working into spaces where I wanted to add elements, like this big sunflower leaf down here at the bottom. Kind of sketch that in, like so. And I think it needs some red in there. I always like to put red in my leaves. It adds a little bit of darkness and to them. Okay, Alexa, new song. Sorry to fast forward through that, but I wanted to hear some music. This is a fast paced music. Maybe that'll add movement to this. Now all of these stems have obviously sunflower leaves. And what I was saying in another video is that I very rarely like wipe the paint off my brush from the other dips of paint I'm doing because I like the variety of color that I get on there. Okay, so this is going to be a lot of leaves, which could take a while. I'm feeling like I need a darker color. where the painting will get that like really um, 
a really interesting quality to it where you'll see my artistic license come out. Where it turns from like a, um, where it turns from like a, a, a painting that is realistic into a painting that is more expressionistic, meaning that, you know, I'm just kind of um, putting a little bit more expression. Isn't that, as I look in it, because I can see it when I'm looking here at you, I'm actually looking at a shot of it and I can see that I need to pull more darks into those leaves because I can't really see them at all. But right now, I think I'll just um, sketch them in. So these will just be the sketches. Because like I said, there's lots of them. I don't know if you've ever been around sunflowers, their leaves can sort of take over the bottom area. are going to wrap around the edge of the canvas because as I said it's a it's a gallery wrapped canvas so everything that you see happening on the front will naturally wrap right around to the other edge. And uh, sunflowers do have like a sort of jagged edge to them. Um, when this is a little bit dry, I'll flip it on its side and paint around the bottom as well. And each of these videos are all around like uh, 10 minutes long. Alexa, next song. The magic of Spotify and technology that I can just talk to my Alexa device and tell her next song and she'll play another song. Need some more dark green. the edges of these guys I don't know if you know this but there's like a green that pops up right behind them. it kind of like holds in like you know kind of like a diamond ring how it's got those prongs that hold it in its setting sunflowers have the same thing in green like right here If you enjoy watching videos like this, I encourage you to leave me your email, um, either right here on this post in a comment or uh, however this is getting to you in the comments. Um, and then I can put you in my VIP circle of art lovers and send you um, things about my exhibitions where I'm showing, different offers, different little fun tidbits of what's going on in my world. Stopping by. It's getting some more emotion.